Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. I'm in Blue Lagoon actually. Yeah, here you see the lava walls. Today we have incredibly good uh, weather conditions in... I can show you the walls and how the Blue Lagoon looks. You can even see the lava if we walk up on the wall. So here you see a lot of heat is permitting through, going through the wall and it's a kind of melting the snow in many places because right behind the wall we have the lava still hot a month old lava about one month and this is a major parking lot now for blue lagoon uh, that's where people walk to blue lagoon like 500 meters uh, along the small uh, small lake but i want to walk to the lava here on the top to show you the lava as close we are to it uh, I made a drone flight also and you'll see it also from the about a really nice flight those conditions today are excellent it's minus two no snow no precipitation clear skies and I couldn't have made the better video than that and I filmed all the lavas so you will see it from the above tonight I will upload it very soon but for now show you the walls see what is happening the lava hits the walls and the steam is getting through this is after one month you see one month old lava is still remains so hot to be able for the heat to get through such thick wall and to melt the snow here you see uh, but let's get higher see the size of the wall in comparison to the vehicle you see the vehicles here the parking lot you know you can get a sense how high is this wall it's really a masterpiece of engineering if you look at the uh, uh, from above all the walls because they're super lengthy it's a new china wall here uh, in iceland <laughs> in the future they will be walking on the top of it like they do in china <laughs> there uh, they had been constructing the walls to protect uh, the chinese kingdom against the invaders from the north the manchus and the mongolians here we are constructing the walls to save Blue Lagoon from the lava. It's even more heat here. Behind the wall we had a parking lot, as you remember. <laughs> and that parking lot didn't survive. It was destroyed by the lava. Luckily, we had the walls <laughs> which saved the Blue Lagoon. Otherwise, if not those walls, Blue Lagoon would be completely buried in the lava already same applies to Grindavik here they uh, the, this is not hit here here they had been raising the walls recently you see they made it higher those are fresh uh, rocks we will call it Great Iceland wall Great China wall here is the Great Iceland wall yeah, yeah it's unbelievable is minus two volcano hike was not possible today I did do it I did try to walk and I was going up until the waist into the snow and we had to turn back after 500 meters yeah this is how Iceland looks today I prefer the cold and the uh, <coughs> and the snow instead of rain and uh, precipitation you can walk here up on the hill on the wall to to take a look There is actually a road on the top of the wall and uh, it's 
a bit hard here to get through and trucks are driving on it yeah we got it to the top yeah you see the road here and the lava which is still steaming yeah I managed to get up you see they just raised the wall to some extent now you see it here and this is the newest lava this is how close it is yeah, there is a lot of steaming here you see yeah you still have a few meters of height above the lava but it's just insane how much lava came we had a parking lot here blue lagoon parking can you tell where that is now? It's buried deeply inside. Actually, those are the remains of the parking lot building, I guess. Here you see some iron, iron remains from the parking lot. But lava went much, much further than a few hundred meters further. Luckily, it didn't go here along the wall, but it went further. Anyway, the, low, the wall goes all around the lagoon and I will walk down. So now you saw the wall and there you have the lagoon and this is a hotel actually next to the lagoon, a very expensive one. And this is the parking for that hotel and that is the lagoon itself over there.